Well, from the looks of it, it appears to be, uh, as all the hallmarks of a very broad uh, investigation. Um, typically, the government gets involved in certain things because people come in and complain. Um, by contrast here, the FTC seems to be very proactive. They're reaching out to smaller retailers and asking the kind of questions that you ask when you really intend an investigation to go forward, which is not just about the acts that occurred, because in antitrust law, in this area of the law, you first have to show that the company has monopoly power or they have so freedom to do this. So you think this is, is going after uh, to try to prove that they are a monopoly in this space or that they are anti-competitive or just do we need to establish both? They're, they're starting at the first building block, which is what you do when you have a very major investigation. They seem to be asking these smaller retailers, what is it that, how much of your business has to be on Amazon? What other choices do you have? And that's a way of showing market or monopoly power. I mean, among the questions they're asked, they're asking what percent of revenues do you get from Amazon exactly. versus other online marketplaces mm -hmm. like a Walmart or an eBay. But th there also has to be a component of Amazon uses its power to punish those who don't put the business on Amazon, who choose to also put it on, on Walmart, correct? I mean, there has to be some sort of, um, I don't know, intent no, you're, shown you're, by you're, Amazon. Exactly. Or, or misbehavior, Mis right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, right. What, right. And what is the misbehavior that's right. being investigated? Because it's never been enough to show that somebody's big or price right. gouging is not a violation under the federal antitrust laws. So you have to show what's called exclusionary conduct. And that can get kind of uh, subtle because whether something's pro-competitive or anti-competitive. So the question you ask is, is the company engaging in it because they're trying to improve their own product or are they doing it in order to, to stifle a competitor? In the example that you just gave us where they're punishing merchants who also use other e-tailers, it's pretty hard to see why that's justifiable conduct. That sounds more like they're trying to freeze out the other retailers and increase their market share. They have more. access to an incredible amount of data. Uh, they know what sells, they know which companies are selling and what they are selling. And then I gather Amazon can then come in with its own version of a product, correct? Uh, and potentially feature that on a search uh, result in front of another company's product. Is that one of the things that is being investigated here? It certainly should be because that does fall within the category of what can be anti-competitive, that you use someone else's product as the come on, you get the consumer to come on the site, and then you've used the data that you've gotten, you possibly use that to price slightly below the other, you put it on the same screen that the consumer is seeing the price that it asked about, and in an extreme case, Amazon then goes and copies the product to make it a private label product, and then they, they get the consumer, they try to get the consumer to switch. How long are we talking about uh, in terms of an investigation here? Is this going to take years? That's an, another very good question because typically monopolization investigations, there's no it, that it's per se wrong. You've got to prove all these different things, mm -hmm. and they're going to have all kinds of arguments. The Microsoft case, of course, took overall took five, six years. That was a while ago, and that was seen when it finally went to trial as having moved fairly quickly. I think there's so much pressure here, mm -hmm. and there's so many different interest groups involved that they're going to have to move this more quickly. And that's really, we don't yet know, or I don't know, of a state investigation into Amazon. But when the state attorneys general get involved, and some can argue, why are they doing it when the feds are doing it? Well, I'll tell you one byproduct when they do that. It puts the heat on the feds because they don't want to see the state AGs get out in front of them on a national problem. Kevin.